This camper van is the Raimo Carrara, a van which will cost 78,000 euros. Kickoff is 50 and a half thousand. It's got 27 in excess of 27,000 euros of extras, but the most expensive of which is the engine upgrade. So that's about 5,000 plus uh, for that. Right, so we've got here sort of a typical VW camper, if you like, with a tent in the roof. We'll start off with the tent in the roof. There it is. How much does a tent in the roof cost if you fixed it yourself? Well, in the Rymo catalogue, it's roughly 4,000 euros to buy one. Then you're going to have to uh, get something to fit it, which won't be cheap. Unless you try fitting it yourself, but for four thousand for the uh, tent, well, not so much the not so much the tent, but I would be more worried about the fifty thousand for the car that uh, the vehicle uh, are making a mess of that. So you probably would want to get somebody who knows what they're doing, right? What we've got also down here, we've got some rather elegant looking uh, side panels, nice gloss to it. I mean, that's if you like gloss, and if you don't like gloss, then there's a nasty gloss to it. So here. This is the uh, isotherm fridge. I'm not gonna unpack it because I see it is packed, but there is one down there. As it's not mine, I, I shan't unpack it. And this bit thing here is absolutely uh, typical. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. But it does, I think this, and maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but this little bit here, this 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 block here, the kitchen block or whatever you want to call it, it does have a certain liner look to it. It's the sort of thing you might see in the Morello, really, uh, or an Eastman Bishop or something like that. Although those vehicles are a little bit bigger. Now that's probably where you keep your toilet. That's where most people tend to keep the toilet. And that's a place you can keep your socks in there or something. Keep your socks next to the toilet. Now, the advantage of something like this is that it's small. You can use it on a daily basis and uh, you can drive to work with it or whatever you do. But, 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 uh, it's not what many people seem to think a cheap option. Uh, they don't, there's no such thing as a cheap option as far as camper vans and motorhomes is concerned, and for that type of money, you know, nearly 80,000, you can buy yourself a pretty big motorhome. But what that motorhome uh, might not be able to do is to get itself parked in your garage or stand on your uh, um, drive or whatever. So this is uh, making things smaller, makes things smaller does tend to cost more. There you've got a stalk for a table, and as you can see from the floor, the Oops, the, 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 the chairs can go backwards and forwards. I'll take it on the back, which is occupied. So the feature here is a slide that goes in and out, which could be quite handy if you're carrying heavy stuff around, or indeed if the uh, that rear chair was in the form of a bed and it came down. So that would be useful for uh, putting stuff on. It's a, it's a very nice feature that, that I think. All right, got a bit more storage there. Let's have a walk around. Hello. Hello. So that's the Carrara, Carrara. Not everybody can roll their R's. Carrara <laughs> from uh, Rymo Van Concept. What we'll do now is we'll have a look at a couple more things. I'm sitting here. This one here is empty. We'll go in here. I don't know what it's called. It's called Bike and Surf. Oh, this doesn't cost very much. Look at that. 40,000 euros. VW 6.1. Oh, right. Okay, let's have a look inside, I, I can't explain the difference in price. Got a pop top. There's something that'll take you back to 1964. <laughs> and here, uh, there's the cool box. 
Rhymo van concept. Now, Rhymo is it's a catalogue, and it's got. Uh, I mean, it's a catalogue every camper should have. There's there's one or two other companies doing the same thing. You've got Mareva, you got Freco, Francana, um, you've got uh, you've got others. Um, sorry for those I've forgotten. I've, I've missed out. And uh, but definitely something worth having because if you you know you want you you get your kit from them makes it very easy to do and I'm sure you can get this pop top in fact I know you can get the pop top because I looked it up uh, from them so it's a rather base model this is a rather simple model well uh, let's have a look what else we've got out the back so you can see how the, the bed gets made you've got this this construction here for the bed and indeed these this mattress here will go forward and will lie on the chair down there so you've got you're not sleeping on the chairs but rather sleeping on an additional mattress which is sort of the thing that people t tend to do these days i am alan yes <laughs> Hello. Thank you from Switzerland. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. That's, that's very nice. To you. So I'll just. Do you, do you want to say something on screen? No. No. no I'll, so I'll just finish this. So I've, yeah. as I've met you, I'll just turn this off. See, I'm yeah. turning it off now. Right. Good.